Hey guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm doing a emergency brake shoe um, replacement, installing and uninstalling. Um, so it's two of these guys right here. So these are the adjusters, the springs, the caps that holds the uh, shoes in place. Then on the bottom we have the um, mechanism for the e-brake cables and also a spring to hold the two shoes together. So you guys uh, feel comfortable doing this on your own. I mean I'm not saying that it's an easy job. It's pretty... it takes time, you know, and it takes a lot of patience. So, disclaimer, whatever you do, you know, even including following my tutorials, I just want to say I'm not going to be responsible for any injuries or any messed up on your own part. You know, whatever you take apart, I mean, if you can't put it back together, I'm not responsible for that. So, you know, I'm going to try to show you this as best as I can. Alright guys, you guys ready? So without any further ado, let's start on it. gonna start off well what you're gonna need is probably some needle nose plier something like this a plier right either this or this well not or but you might need both of them so oh and one 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 more thing this is just <clears throat> this is assuming that you already know how to remove your rotors right so Alright, let's get to it. So first things off, removing the uh, the spring right here. Okay, so you're just gonna get this, or well, let me try this one. All right, I'm gonna use this one. And just get in between the springs and just push, push the brake. Right, just pull it out just like that. Right, and this one just unhook it, put it aside, and then on the bottom, same thing. Let me try to get a better camera angle for you guys.
see the pens right there that's the head right there so now I'm gonna get that magnet oops and let me try to show you guys what I'm doing with the magnet I don't have well you know what so this head of the magnet I can see it, dang it. See this? That's gonna go on top of that head. Alright, let me put this, let me put the magnet on the head and I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so this is what you guys want where you can push the pen back in, back in the rear. Alright, so that's why you have that magnet in the back pushing against it so it doesn't go anywhere. Here's my magnet. Alright, let me show you. Hopefully I can. So it's actually pushing right on the head. Alright. So let's go ahead and put the uh, one of the pads on. Okay guys. So here's the hideous part. 
Remember, two side, fat side, slim side. Slim side goes on the bottom. So you have like holes here. These are for your springs, and these are the where the pen goes. All right. So let's go ahead and stick the pen in the hole. Oh yeah, and this here goes right in this groove right here, this notch. I don't know if you guys can see. So there's a cut notch here, and this here is going to go like that, right? Remember, this cut is going to go, actually no. <laughs> This notch cut right here. So this is gonna line up with that notch. Show you guys. So that notch right there is gonna go right like that. Uh, let's not worry about that for now. I'll show you guys later. Right now, our concentration is on that that pen. It's the hardest part. It's the hardest part of this uh, install. Okay. So, like so. Now I'm gonna get our springs. So I might need to fast forward this because it's going to take forever. Oh, I need my glasses. Give me a second. So pay attention to the orientation of that flat head and try to orient this the same as that. It's like, you know, you know what I mean. Right? So the way you're going to do this, you're going to stick one finger in this hole, I choose a thumb, and this one, just try to support, alright, so let's go, uh, which way is this thing oriented, dang it, okay, alright, push it in, It is. Okay. So it seems like my magnet moves. You're gonna have to readjust. Just a magnet. It's a piece of hair in here. So you want to try to get that magnet and the <coughs> the uh, nut right on top as best as you can, pushing against the uh, the pen. All right. So like I said guys, this is the most hideous part of all of this uh, installation. Okay, so just hold it and get your springs and cap and orient, try to orient it. Alright, see that cut right there? Try to orient it with that head.
Dang it. Almost got it. Oh, crap. Lost it. Almost got it, dang it. Lost it. <laughs> yep. I already did the other side, so, you know. Uh, oh, now you're going up, huh? Alright. Let me see how it is. I see how it is. Oh, come on, don't change on me. Alright, what's going on here? Told you, so he did part. up. It's going to face up too. So like I said, be patient. Alright. Don't lose hope, guys. I was losing hope on the other side. But for some reason, I stuck around. Alright? So my fingers, <laughs> it's kind of uh, in pain right about now. So the other side, it will be easier because the magnet has more room to hold. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Excuse my language. So I think it's the best way right here. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's show ya. Okay. What you got thinking? I don't think this guy know what he's doing. That's right. I think if you guy uh, 
trying to find a video on this. Saw that. All right. So this is gonna go like that. And now let's do the other side. Okay. So we're on the other side. Take our pin. Stick it in the back. Uh, I think it goes on the bottom. Just like that. Get your friendly magnet. That's gonna go. That's gonna help you throughout this process. So for this side, you're not. You're probably not gonna need this, but I'm gonna try to use it. I don't have that much room here. Um, my stepdad's truck is like right behind me, and I have to maneuver around. Uh, ouch. Alright. So, there's the pen. Right there. That's gonna go anywhere. Nope. Alright, let's get our pads. Big side on top. Put the pins in this hole. Like so. Alright, let me get comfortable. Yeah. Okay, so the bottom's gonna go. Groove to groove, or cut to cut, whatever you guys want to call it. So let me line up this hole. Yeah. Damn. Don't know why it's so hard. It's a tad bit. Okay. That's it. Alright, grab your cap and your pins. I mean, <laughs> cap and springs. Okay, let's stick this inside. Like so. It's gonna fly, get away. Don't wanna eat ya. Alright, so how's this thing oriented? Okay, then just like that. Maybe I lied. This side, well, we just gotta be patient, that's all. You know, nothing wrong with being patient. Without patient, you ain't getting nowhere. So let me try to use the same method as I did on the other side. So you wanna keep pressing on this uh, pad. Something is like that.
hope you guys don't fall down. There we go. <sighs> Got it. Okay. So, put this in the screw. So, let's put the uh, adjuster back on, which is this guy. Clean it off real quick. Ugh, my feet's cold. Spins freely. Alright. Silver side. Well, that's the way I remember it. Go to the left. Black side. Goes to this side. Like so. Oh, you know what? Let's put the spring first. I think I want to start with the blue one because it's the hardest one. The reason why I said the blue one is hard is because it's the thickest one. Okay, so the way you want to do this, make sure everything is in its groove. Okay. So you're going to want to feed the spring in from this side and it's going to go right on top of this um, the brake line uh, what do you call that? The thing I showed you guys earlier, the brake line thing so this is going to go right on top of it, right? Just feed it through make sure it's on top and then get one of your pliers It's gonna go in this hole right here. You guys see this hole right here is the bottom hole. Sorry, my head is in the way. So just grab, put in the hole just like that. Alright. Then I'm gonna put it in this hole with this side. Let me see if I can move you guys over here. Alright, I'm gonna move you guys now. Alright, let me show you guys the springs. Alright. So, the spring is right there. You guys see it? There. You wanna take this. I'm gonna take this spring right here. Dang it. Uh, Alright, see the spring right there? You see the hook? That's gonna go in that hole right there. Right there, that hole. Alright, 
So let me try to get you some angles. Okay. So we're gonna grab that hook. Alright, grab the hook like that. Let's go towards the hole. Hold on. Oh shit. Alright. Oops. Ah, where does spring go? The spring is still there. Where's the spring? It's right there. Alright. So you want to keep pushing on this pad here. Oops. See this? This is not supposed to be on the bottom, right? Uh, it's supposed to be like that. And this goes in the groove. Okay. Let's pop the spring in now. We have to find it. Alright. Uh, there we go. It's not in yet, you guys. Don't think it's thin, all right? It's not in. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna get some flathead. You're gonna push it in. You'll hear a snap, just like that. All right. So this in. Yep. Okay, now let's put our adjuster in. This guy right here. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna spread apart the pads, just like so. Stick one of this in first. Uh, doesn't matter which side. So. So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go through the other side. This side. So just put underneath, just like that. And then spread out. Uh, make sure this thing is turned the correct way. Just like that. Uh, my fingers. All right. All right. Pop it in, just like that. All right. See. So check everything. Feels good. Try to even it out. Nope, not like that. <laughs> Remember, this thing does not go in here. All right. Okay. Come on, out, will ya? Really? There 
we go. So now we got one more spring to go. This guy right here, which goes right on top. Clean it out. Okay. So it goes under this hole in this hole right here. Actually, let me do that side first. So this part here. This springy part is going to go underneath the teeth, right? It's going to go like that, right? And then the hole, one side is going to go here, and the other side is going to go here. I'll show you guys now. Okay, so when you push, you want to hold on to this pad. Right. Just like so. Remember, is it in yet? Is it in? No. Watch. So you're going to take a flat head, it's going to push it. Grab and push. Yeah, there we go. So it's gonna go like that. See how that springy thingy is underneath this wheel? And the spring this side is in. Alright, so we're good. Blue spring is in. Blue spring is in the hole. So we're good. So one thing you guys, so remember the notch I was saying earlier right here? Make sure those you know match and line up together. Or not, we're good. You just put your brake drums in, I mean your brake this in. Probably don't need to show you guys that, you know. And uh <clears throat> pump your hand brakes a few times until it uh, get you know firm how you like it and that's about it <clears throat> and any of you if it's not firm enough or whatever this is the adjuster right here you know there are certain ways you turn it'll spread out and then the other whatever side I mean Whichever um, way you turn, it all close, you know, shrink, um, contract, right? The other, the other way, it all expand to push against your, uh, you know, your rotors. Here, I'll show you. So when it expand, it will press against the side walls, okay? And you know. You get it. You probably won't have to do that, but uh, just pump your hand brakes until it's nice and firm. All right, guys. So I hope this tutorial helps. Um, don't be discouraged if you, you know, you think you can't do it. You know, have some confidence in yourself. Have some faith. Um, you know, learning is part of the process. So. Um, 
Yeah, the only thing left to do is, you know, pop in your rotors and uh, pump your brakes. Okay, you know what? Um, let me show you the other side, I guess. Hold on. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I ordered a four wheel new brake kit. Um, hopefully it'll be here soon. They said the one I ordered was out of stock, so there's there's certainly a better one. Give that complaint. But anyways, so the way we're gonna put okay, I'm gonna put my old rotor in my first my stock rotors. So until I get my new one, my new uh, brake sets. But once I get my brake kit, I'll probably do another video on that for the to do the whole uh, front and rear rotor, disc, brake pads, everything. All right. So hopefully you guys want to see that. I'm not sure, but it might be boring for you guys. Anyways, so remember the way you put this uh, rotor back. You know how you have these extra holes, the big hole that has the rubber on, you know, to cover? This one, this hole here, will match up with your teeth, your adjuster, okay? Where's that? Correct, just like that. Okay. Okay, so seems like I need to. So, what this is supposed to be doing is um, go in smoothly, right? Without any friction. Watch. So that means it's actually touching the brake pad. Oh, okay. So the adjuster right here. So if I were to go down, actually let's go up. If I were to adjust down, I need a screwdriver. Let's see what happens if I go down. Down. So stay the way. Oh no! Actually, no, it's good. So let me show you guys real quick. So for the new pads, see the silver side, that side right there. So that make sure it closes all the way. All right? Watch. If I turn the other way, watch it opens up. Uh, stay the way. Why is it so hard now? Okay, so you go this way. That's open. That's widening, widening the pads. Right. So that's actually pushing the brake pad out. See how now you have a gap. Let's close it. So, not too far, maybe give it like three turns, three turn back, okay? So what I mean is, like let's say if I close it all the way and I can't go anymore, okay? Give it one, two, three, maybe four or five clicks back, all right? Okay, let's put the rotors back. I'll show you guys how to adjust it, I'm guessing, I guess. Stay put, camera. Alright. Remember, 
the hole with the rubber cover lines up against the teeth, alright? Like so. that. So you're gonna use one lug nut. Where's my lug nut? Alright, let me grab my lug nut real quick. So we just put one lug nut. Or two if you want. Like so. Alright, so what I noticed is that I think I need to expand the brake pads out a little bit. That's what this hole is for, but I'm not going to use the hole. So let's see which way we'll expand. So when you expand, when you turn this, remember this here, that'll get the gap, will get bigger. I think it was up, right? Is it up? Nope. I guess it's down. Alright. So right now, oh no, it's up. <laughs> so confusing. So just keep. Going. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let me show you guys. Alright, see the gap there? I think that's about right but if you put your rotors back in and you can't push your rotors in <laughs> turn it the other way just a little bit all right Okay, and then we'll do the same to that side. You guys don't need to watch that. Okay guys, so to adjust your uh, e-brake, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be moving the, um, the wheels up. So when you move it up, you're expanding the, the pads out. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to do in increments of maybe 7. So you just got to locate your um, wheels. So you're going to turn your rotors until this hole is aligned with the, the adjuster, the wheel adjuster. Okay, so I can still turn it.
So I guess you're gonna have to, uh... Turn the wheels all the way out. Alright guys, all the way out. One, two, three. So you can't move anymore? Stop. That's the end of it. Okay, then I'm done. <clears throat> so the way the way I just did it is I applied the e-brake at the height that I want. Then I came and adjust this all the way up. You know, all the way expanded. Okay, that's how you should do it. So on that, you guys. If this video helps you out, consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up button and the notification to get my other videos, my upcoming uh, videos. Um, oh, one more thing. I've reached 100 plus subscribers. I am so thankful for that. You know, that's just gonna mo uh, motivate me more. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway, <clears throat> but I just don't know when. Maybe uh, let's give it another another ten ten subscribers, and maybe two or three of my videos needs to have a hundred likes, and then I'll <clears throat> do a giveaway. So just to make sure that you guys know what's going on with the subscribers, um, if you subscribe. In private mode, I'm not gonna be able to see. I'm not gonna be able to see you, so you're not gonna be in my uh, subscribing list, raffle, tickets. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna write down the name of the subscribers that shows in the list. I will throw that in a box, and maybe I'll have my daughter pick up a name, or maybe I'll just do it myself. So. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you a date on that, on when I will be picking up the the raffle or the names. Um, just maybe if I hit <clears throat> 110 subscriber and three of my videos will have to have uh, 100 likes. Okay, guys. So th again, thank you for your support and thank you for the motivation. <clears throat> Um, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks again for visiting. See you. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.